The SharePoint app model provides an app part as a mechanism to deliver web part functionality from within an app. Now, one of the common complaints I hear of app parts is that they're hosted within iframes. But don't let me fool you. Just because it's an iframe doesn't mean I'm, I necessarily have to have a compromised user experience. You see, these app parts can actually reference the styling from a host page so that they look like they're a part of the page. They can even communicate with the page and say, I need more real estate, I need more room. So they can actually resize themselves by posting a message to the host page. So one of the things I wanted to do was take that even further and show that we can deliver really complex web part type of functionality with app parts. So what I'm gonna do is show you how we could actually do connected app parts. I can have them communicate with each other on a page even though there are a bunch of iframes sitting on the page. So here's my Visual, Visual Studio solution. And basically this app has a single app part. And there's a little bit of script within this app part that is gonna help us do the communication. So this is gonna use an HTML5 technology called post messaging. And this is the same way that the post message works for resizing app parts that's built into the app model. So what we're gonna do is on our page, when our page loads, we're actually going to basically register a listener. We're gonna register that we want to listen for messages coming from the host page. So what this is, is when the host page wants to deliver a message to all the app parts, we're gonna be able to listen to it here. So we simply do a window.addListener that we wanna listen for messages. Now the app part is also going to post messages. So further up here, it's gonna post messages in one of two ways. When the app part loads, we're actually going to post a register message to the host page just to say, hey, we wanna register so that you know that we're an app part that we wanna communicate with. Secondly, when we actually go and send a message, we're gonna post a send message. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna, when we send a message from an app part, the host page is going to listen for that and then send it back down to all of the app parts that are on the page. So again, our app part is both registering a listener to listen for messages and it's posting messages. Now, in order for the communication to work, we're actually gonna have to add script to the page um, in the host web. And so I have a little readme in this solution that's gonna show you exactly how to do that. And this, is gonna, this script is gonna be very similar to what we just saw. This script is going to listen for messages. So you can see here, we're adding that event listener. We're gonna listen for messages. And then once we receive a message, if it is one of those send messages, we're gonna redistribute that to all of the iframes on the page. So you can see here, um, I'm simply, if it's an action of send, I'm going to go and look for all the, the web parts that have iframes, which is an app part, and we're gonna go and do a, um, an iframe.contentwindow.post message, and we're gonna send that message to all those, those iframes. So again, um, both the app part and the page itself are going to be listening for messages and they're gonna be posting messages. So let's put all this together on an actual page. So I'll quickly come in here to uh, my SharePoint site and I'm going to go ahead and edit my page. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and place our app part. So I'm gonna go into insert app part and I have this connected app part sample that I'm going to go place on each one of these little um, zones. So I'll just insert this three times. We want it multiple times so that we actually do communication. Um, they can communicate with each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a third here. And there we go. We have our three app parts on the page. Um, you could see that they're actually displaying their ID. Um, that's something that SharePoint will give the app part. It actually puts it as a parameter in the URL of the iframe. Um, and it's just an, it's a great way that if you want to maybe store maybe more complex properties of an app part, you can um, use that ID as a mechanism for that, um, as like maybe a cookie or um, a session or something like that. Um, in this case, I'm just using it to show who's communicating. So if I were to send a message here and say, hello world, at this point, nothing's going to happen. If I click the send button, button nothing happens. And the reason for that is, is we need something on the host page 
to kind of play communication cop between all these different app parts. And so there's a few different ways we can do that. Uh, one of the first ways you might think is to use the embed code, which is basically a script editor. It's a great way for me just to embed script in, scripts in my page. But I'm actually going to use an older approach because it allows us to actually export a, a web part and be able to reuse it. Um, so I'm going to use just a content editor. So I'm going to come up here to insert a um, web part and I'm going to go to media and content and I'm going to use the good old traditional content editor. And I'll show you why I'm doing this instead of like the script editor. And the main reason is again I'm going to be able to export this later which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and um, edit this content editor. And when I edit this, I'm going to go and basically um, grab all of that script that I have in the README from my Visual Studio project, and I'm going to go add this to my page. So you can see I'm just pasting my script in here. This even has a reference to jQuery because the SharePoint master page doesn't have that by default. So I'll go ahead and add this. And then the last thing I want to do is change the Chrome type because the content editor by default will have um, a header. So I want to change the Chrome type to none. So I'll go ahead and say OK. And we'll save our page. And so one of the things you can already see here is that when the app parts load, they're displaying that register message. Um, and again, I'm just outputting all the messages that come in. But ultimately here, we're actually able to communicate from the app parts to the page. Now we also want to show being able to communicate from the page back to the app part. So let me show you that. Here I'll go ahead and say hello world. Now that I have some script on my page that's listening for this, and it's going to be able to redistribute that message back to all the other app parts. Once I send this, you can see that it, it, it captured that on the page, but it also sent it back to all the additional app parts. So you can see that was communication from that app part. If I were to say hello world, Again, you can see that we registered on the page and we're able to send that back down to all of the app parts on the page. So there is connected app parts. Very sim simple to do using post message and a little bit of script. However, this isn't very repeatable for an end user. I don't expect an end user to know how to embed script on a page. And so this is the reason I used a content editor and not a script editor because what we can do is I can actually go edit my page here and I can take this content editor and I have an option for export. Now this isn't something that I get with the script editor. This is only for the older type of, of web part. So I'm going to go ahead and export this and it's going to export this as a um, uh, just a, a normal web part file. So I'll save this to my desktop. And now what I can do is it exported this with the content. And so, and the fact that I don't want Chrome. So if I were to go and upload this um, DWP file to my web part gallery, now an end user could easily reuse this. So again, here what, what I'll do is I'll just save my page. I'll go out to site settings and go to my web part gallery. And now I can simply upload that web part file. So you find that on my desktop here should be connected content editor. Now, I probably want to change the title of this, so make it a little bit easier for someone to recognize. So we'll call this the um, connected app part host. Uh, and again, that's, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense for your end users, but um, in a real scenario, you'd give both the app part and the maybe this, this um, host that plays uh, the communication uh, cop, you'd give them more friendly names. So I'll go ahead and save this. Now, if I wanted to redo this, I can simply go to a, a new site page as an end user, and I don't have to deal with actually embedding script or knowing that I even need to do something like embedding script. I can simply come up to the insert tab under, under my web parts, and I should be able to find in here somewhere I should have the, um, the app part sample. Let's look under media and content. 
Um, and it'll be here somewhere. But ultimately, um, by by exporting it, now it's something that's that's much more reusable that someone can use. So hopefully this illustrates that just because an app part uses an iframe doesn't mean that I have to have a compromised experience. We can even do really advanced things like doing connected app parts um, with this infrastructure.